our responsibility to make sure that we're advising you on when we have fallen short or not been able to compete for a project. And one of the things that we've noticed is probably over the last six months, we've seen an increase in projects that are requesting smaller size buildings, um, existing buildings between the 40 to 80,000 square foot range. And while we have a lot of those buildings in our community, the types of projects that are looking right now, those buildings don't work. So the cost to renovate those buildings is too much for us to compete. Um, so these are manufacturing projects that are looking for thicker floors, better infrastructure in place, um, tilt wall concrete, that type of thing that we just currently don't have in our inventory. Um, so I would tell you the projects that have submitted for these types of buildings are food processing projects where we've not been able, and that's actually one of our target markets that we're trying to grow. Um, we found that usually um, to renovate an existing building is too high. Um, there's no time for the build to suit, so they'd rather go find another building that's already there with the infrastructure and they're out there. Um, and then they can sometimes negotiate better on an existing building. So one of the things that I've gone out is to, um, and done a little bit of research on speculative buildings. Um, Georgia Power actually has done a good study um, or a quick survey from the Georgia Department of Economic Development side on what should a spec building look like, what's a good size, and how ceiling height, how much it should cost, what it should look like, and what um, structures look best. Um, and I've also just met with a lot of my ED partners in the community um, within the ED world to find out what um, signage and structures have worked well. And there's two different ways to do a spec building. It could be community owned is one way, obviously. And there's another public-private partnership where you can partner with a developer um, to build the spec building and to hold the cost of the spec building while you participate maybe through um, land transactions or some Sort of structure. Um, so I just wanted to make the board aware of that, kind of where we were from an existing building perspective. We've got large buildings, so we've had the, that's where our gap is. So we have the 250 to 380, 380 um, from an existing building standpoint, but not that smaller niche that we're looking for. When you get these requests, are, are they looking to purchase? Are they looking to lease? It's different. It just depends on who the, you know, what the project is. But I mean, it ranges from anywhere from a lease perspective to a buy. Just to think. <laughs> a company. Put that on your punch list. <laughs> 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 I've already had. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm Sarah Hill. I'm No, we. Um, it just depends. So it can range anywhere from being a lease opportunity to a purchase opportunity. But the, the you know the purpose of a spec building program, and I would tell you that Douglas Coffee County has had a very good has had a very successful um, speculative building program, and they started probably about thirty years, and they've always built a hundred thousand square feet. And you have to be willing to hold on to it for a long period of time because the it's not coming right tomorrow. But um, one of the main purposes is attraction. So to get them into the community and um, get them to look and see what all we have to offer. A spec building is three walls and it's no floor. It's basically just a roof and the three walls around it. Um, and I would tell you Douglas Coffee County is on their fourth spec building but that has all been funded directly through their development authority. There are other programs out there around, um, I know in Cherokee, they did a public-private partnership that has worked well. In Gainesville, Georgia, they've done public-private partnerships that have worked well. So there are some successful public-private partnerships out there as well. You know, I mean, it, since, since the recession began, it seems like even, in my business anyway, residential construction, if you have a vacant lot, sits there, you put a house on it, the chances of it selling goes up tremendously. Okay, so that was sort of the first thing that the consumer wasn't going to buy a lot, sit on it, pay it down a little bit, and then build their own house for the most part. And then now in my commercial business, that's exactly the same. The lots for the people that I represent, their commercial lots, 
people call and say, well, the builder, well, the owner build me a building and then sell it to me. And so it may just be this sort of, you know, uh, philosophical, I guess, shift everywhere that people just want it and want it now and don't want to have to mess with, you know, all of the, the work to get it built. And, you know, maybe you're seeing that some in your business, Bill. I mean, it's, it's kind of a phenomenon, sort of. Um, I mean, I'm not saying larger companies fit into that box that I'm putting on, on our community, but, but apparently what you're saying is that people are calling and saying, what do you have now that we don't have to wait on? Um, maybe and, something we should consider. And if you don't have that something now, you're struck off the list immediately. Right. They're, they're not going to come to, if you don't have a building to show them. Well, so That's for these four yeah. particular projects, we weren't able to compete because we didn't have the, the building. Now, the other trap is we hit, we build a building that the next five people that call and say, well, what kind of building do you have? And it doesn't fit their needs when we sit on a building for five or ten years. Obviously, that has the downside to it. But you well, know, that's something we really need to sort of look yeah. at. Yeah, and the thing with a spec building is it's built to expand. So if you start off with, you know, they like I said, some of this information that our economic development partners have gathered for us, you know, tells us the average size, what's a good size, 60 to 80,000 square feet. You know, what's the average ceiling height? You know, we're looking at around 28 to 30, you know, feet. Um, but you're building that building to expand it to a certain number. You're not fitting the flooring in, so you don't have your, you've got your water and your power to the building, but they're gonna install, like, um, if it's manufacturing, may not be, it's not gonna be six inches reinforced, it's gonna be probably thicker than that. If it's a food processing, it's all the float, um, floor drains that have to be in place and with an existing food building because of FDA just being so much more um, holding them accountable for the laws and regulations food grade right, for, yeah, food grade construction um, that also limits the type of building that they look at so. so at this point we'll just continue to evaluate mm -hmm. opportunities and possibilities mm -hmm. yeah. and we have private people come and say they want to partner with us to do that? Okay. Um, and, you know, we're very fortunate here in Valdosta Island County to have private um, citizens who want to invest back in the economic development. So we do have some individuals that would work with us who are interested in pursuing a private, I can't call private public <laughs> partnership as it relates to a speculative building. So Six years ago, we were down that path with, uh, with the local uh, builder, um, and and he's still active in, in town. Um, and and we we talked it over, and, and for some reason it, it just didn't it just didn't work. Were you here then? That's uh, okay. That's so so it's it's been a while, and I recall that. Yeah. So maybe that it's time for us to maybe start talking again about those types of things. I, I do have another question. For you. Huh? So you said it's three walls. So can you just have one wall, kind of just like the front, like a movie? <laughs> <laughs> Old West Ham. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bureau. <laughs> 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 so you said it's three walls. So what would you call it? Well, we're going to have to do this again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're going to have to do it again. Um, but we're